Oscillatory brain rhythms are thought to contribute to the processing and long-range transmission of information as encoded in single neuron activity through coherence of neuronal assemblies. Pathological oscillatory patterns have been related to disease-specific symptoms in Parkinson's disease using invasive recordings in severely affected patients that underwent deep brain stimulation surgery. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that affects more than 1% of people over the age of 60. Symptoms include uncontrollable shaking or tremor, rigidity, and slowness of movements. These symptoms are due to a loss of neurons that produce the chemical dopamine. The lack of dopamine disturbs the activity of structures deep within the brain called the basal ganglia, which normally contribute to movement control. In Parkinson's disease patients, abnormally enhanced brain rhythm occurs in the beta frequency band, approximately 20 Hz, that may disturb oscillatory brain activity for motor processing. During movement, neurons in the subthalamic nucleus oscillate at a frequency between 40 to 90 Hz. This is known as gamma synchronization. In this study, we aimed at elucidating the pathophysiological implication of velocity-related subthalamic gamma oscillations and their modulation by dopamine in 16 patients with Parkinson's disease undergoing deep brain stimulation surgery. We reveal that in patients with Parkinson's disease, the gamma synchronization scales with movement velocity. The greater the synchronization, the faster patients move. Interestingly, Gamma synchronization during a movement does not occur continuously, but in brief bursts. Not only that overall gamma synchronization is reduced in patients that do not take any medication, but it is specifically the number of bursts that decreases. In contrast, their duration and intensity remain unaffected by the lack of dopamine. Sensing bursts of gamma synchronization may reveal what is happening inside the brain of a patient with Parkinson's disease in real time. This could help to improve deep brain stimulation therapy. At present, electrodes stimulate the basal ganglia continuously and stimulation settings are limited by occurrence of side effects. In the future, it may be possible to apply stimulation only when there is too little synchrony. This could reduce side effects and make the treatment more effective.